faster internet for a much cheaper cost. That's Superior City Leaders' goal. Tonight, they gave the public a first look at their new idea called Connect Superior. CBS 3's Natalie Grant takes a look at how it works. Plans are in motion to modernize the way people in Superior get their internet. Superior Connector would end what's currently an internet company monopoly and move to a localized fiber connection that would give the people of the city an option to choose from a handful of competing providers. Uh, the, the infrastructure is remaining stagnant or not being improved and uh, fiber is the fastest connection out there. Tyler Elm, Superior City Council Vice President, who has been leading this project, says installing a system that allows more providers will create competition in the market, driving prices down while keeping speeds up. Right now, uh, the average price is around $80 a month, and uh, you're getting 100 by 10 megabits for about that price. So going for $55 a month for 1,000 by 1,000 uh, with the ability to go much faster in the future with that same infrastructure really uh, gives us a lot more opportunity. Opportunity and more choices. With this new system, people would have the flexibility to change their provider with just one click, doing away with a process that otherwise is a big, expensive hassle. The difference is when Charter hooks it up, you can only get Charter on that cable. When we hook it up, you can get anybody you want on that cable. And if you don't like who you're getting today, switch and get somebody else tomorrow. Superior Mayor Jim Payne says this past year has highlighted the need for reliable and affordable internet in the city, essential for things like education and a local economy. Uh, we are a digital society. Uh, the world is changing and internet is not a luxury. It is an absolute necessity. And the pandemic showed that. A new plan to adapt to the times and keep Superior connected. There's no timetable on exactly when this plan could be adopted. In order for it to become a reality, though, 40% of the city's population would have to be willing to opt in. City leaders say costs could go down even more with the president's latest infrastructure proposal. We have a link on our website where you can learn more about the project and watch back that public meeting in real time.